All right, so here we go. Here's another try at showing you how to take apart a heavy-duty battery. Notice extra heavy-duty. This is just a cheapy battery, the kind that come with, you know, toys because they don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on you. It's not an alkaline battery. It's a heavy-duty battery. You can also get them at uh, the dollar store for pretty cheap. It's actually nicest to use a new battery, so if you're going to try and extract the zinc case from inside here, or if you want the manganese dioxide for experiments like oxygen generation with hydrogen peroxide, um, the new ones are great for that. But this is one that, I don't know, it's been sitting in my room or up on top of the fridge or who knows where. Um, so first thing you have to do is you have to get off this steel case. All right? There's a, a seam here. All I'm going to do is pinch this a little bit and hopefully start separating it. Okay. And needle nose pliers work really well for this because what you can do is you can kind of do the uh, the old spam can trick where you twist it around the needle nose and this steel case will come off pretty easily usually. Now you have to be careful here of course because this is steel and it's thin so you know, it can cut you pretty easily if you're not careful. I usually just will peel it around as you twist it. You know, it wraps around the pliers. And then you can usually get it off pretty easily. Okay, that's gone. There's a little plastic washer type deal that insulates the positive terminal from the case, just in case there was a short or anything. Um, now here what, what we've got is we've got uh, a it's kind of a bluish plastic I don't know they're not always blue but all I'm doing to do is rip it a little bit here with my pliers and then I can start to peel this thing off usually comes off pretty quickly negative terminal just dropped off there the case of the battery the zinc case is what the negative is the whole negative terminal okay so they have this little cap on there so it can make contact and then the plastic insulates it on this other side is the positive terminal. There's a plastic like washer here and usually all you have to do is use your needle nose pliers. If you pull and twist the cap sometimes comes off or sometimes the whole um, carbon rod that makes the, net, the positive terminal will come off also. This time it didn't come out. So I'm going to pull off that plastic piece and you can see inside here you know there's the carbon rod and then down inside there's uh, some paper. I don't know, this is, looks like oxidation of some sort. So we're going to pull this out. I usually will grab the carbon rod and if you carefully twist it, oh, that it shattered. So it's not going to work this time. Sometimes this rod will pull out and that's totally not going to come out. <laughs> that's all right. <coughs> what we care about is this zinc case. Inside here is uh, a black powdery chemical called manganese dioxide. Manganese dioxide is cool because you can use it, like I said before, it's a catalyst and it will help break down hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2 and it normally, you know, in the presence of uh, heat or light, will break down spontaneously and because it's H2O2, sounds very much like H2O, but it's got some extra o, O's in there. So what will happen is this manganese dioxide, if you, um, I'm just trying to crush the, the, the cake of manganese dioxide in there right now. So here it starts to come out. Okay, So I'm just working my way around it, kind of trying to crush the powder. I'm going to pull this cardboard or paper cap out of here out of sight because I don't want it. And now as I crunch it, you know, the manganese is going to come out. I think there's something else in here too. It's not just straight manganese dioxide, but uh, anyway. Mostly it's manganese. So I'm just going to crunch this around. You know, I've kind of loosened it up. I'm going to reach back in here and see if I can pull out that carbon rod. Usually by this point, there it goes. And it's kind of cruddy. It's got the, the black powder all over it. If you want that rod as a conductor, you can just brush it off with a toothbrush or something, 
wash it off with some soap, kind of clean it up, and then you'll have a pure carbon rod. Great conductor. You can use it for uh, electrolysis of water, or um, if you're um, doing electroplating, you can use this as one of your terminals. Okay. Usually you're going to use a metal as your terminal, and that's what we're going to do when we do the copper penny trick. Okay. So inside of the battery is a paper sheath on the inside of the zinc. So usually I'll just kind of pull this out. Sometimes it comes out in bigger pieces, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, all you're going to do is keep working this, crunch out all of the manganese. Sometimes, you know, I'll take a, a thin, long, thin screwdriver or something, stick in there and kind of dig out the manganese, okay? But after you've got that all, you can usually reach in here and pull out the paper. It just comes off the sides. It's just in there to keep the manganese and the zinc separated. Okay. So, like I said, here's what most of the time we're after is this zinc case. Okay. Another way you can get zinc is um, wall anchors. There's zinc nowadays too. So those screw-in type wall anchors, look for the ones that are zinc and bam, you'll have a big old plug of zinc. This is just one really cheap, easy way to do it that a lot of people will have laying around the house. Plus you get the carbon rod if you want that. And you also get the manganese dioxide that you can use for oxygen. Have fun.